Arms exist as tools to defend one's territory, one's country. Had we been the ones fighting the terrorists, I assure you, we would not have been outsmarted. Citizens of Roar, you have nothing to fear. In these dangerous times with terrorists running rampant, the Nordia Provincial Army is here to defend you from harm. And defend you, we shall. These glorified beat cops are out of their debt. Depth. They know nothing of this community. I'd suggest you don't place too much trust in them. What a blowhard. It's like he's spoiling for a fight. He's really selling it to the populace. But they can't just drive armored cars right into the city streets. What do we do? They're both officially recognized military organizations. I don't think there's much we can do. But if for some reason things turn ugly, let's do everything we can to get all of the nearby residents to safety. Right. I uh, guess that's as much help as we can offer. Pretty much. You're quite correct, of course. Both the Provincial Army and the Railway Military Police have their own roles to fill, each important to the Empire. Oh, hey. Isn't that... Captain Glare! I didn't know you arrived. I'll take things from here. Yes, Captain. Yes, ma'am. So, so that's her, huh? Yeah, the infamous Icy Maiden. Good day to you, officers. I believe the Imperial government notified you two days ago that we'd be conducting patrols and investigations in the area. Has that really caused such inconvenience that you felt compelled to bring an armored car within the city limits? Whoa. And frankly, I can't bring myself to agree with your assertion that we're out of our depth here. The railway is a network that crosses the entire empire, allowing us to dispatch forces anywhere at a moment's notice. We can also gather divisions scattered across the country in one place in a matter of hours. In fact, we pride ourselves in it. It's our distinguished distinguishing feature as a division of the armed forces R really I do keep seeing them pop up in the Imperial Chronicle looks like Claire showed up at the perfect time as quick-witted as ever <laughs> now there's a classy lady for you Duh. we have no quarrel with you and no reason to argue we have enough on our plate with the terrorists as it is. But we've got a job to do, and so do you. Ultimately, our commitment is to the people of this nation. I'm sure you feel the same, no? But that's... A query for you, then. How would you respond if a crisis were to occur in multiple places at the same time? That sounds like Eusis' brother. Oh. Yeah, I knew it. Rufus. Oh, hey. Yusuf's brother really gets around. And always turns up where we least expect him. Lord Rufus, we didn't know you were in Roar. Are you leaving already? Indeed, I am. His lordship asked me to extend my stay. But I'm afraid I have business to attend to elsewhere. I'll be heading out in short order. So that's Duke Alborea's eldest son. As the noble faction's biggest up in the corner, he sure dresses the part. Ah, Captain Claire Revelt, I presume? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've heard much about you. It's an honor, Lord Alborea. Please, no need for formalities between us. Rufus is fine. Still, you seem puzzled as to what I'm doing in Ruhr. Or to be more specific, how I got here. Do I assume correctly? The country's railways are completely under your control. Had I taken a train, you would have known it. And yet, there are no signs I passed through Ruhr Airport either. 
The truth is more mundane than fantastic. I arrived aboard the Alborea family's private airship, which currently sits just off a highway on the outskirts of the city, awaiting my return. I... Heh. <laughs> Blind spots are an unavoidable reality. We all have them. As on the ball as you are, you do well not to overestimate your own superiority. After all, the hardest falls are the ones we don't see coming. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Now, isn't it time both sides withdrew? And remove those unsightly vehicles from the streets at once. A provincial army must conduct itself with valor and grace at all times. Would you not agree? Precisely, my lord. Withdraw, armored crew. Stand down. Yes, my lord. Oh, fortune finds us face to face once again. So, so it seems. Thank you again for everything you did for us the other day. <laughs> you needn't be so formal. I was just in town. I was just in town to speak with the Marquise on my father's behalf. Ah. I imagine you two must have had a lot to talk about. <laughs> Indeed. And the Marquis never makes it an easy time. I took advantage of all the excitement surrounding the courageous maiden voyage to take my little trip unnoticed. Given the current climate, it's impossible to predict what may happen both here and in Ordis. You have three days of your field study remaining. I suggest you focus on your assigned task and stay out of trouble. I'm looking forward to seeing the class seven, what Class 7 has to show at the Academy's festival, after all. Here. Man, you meet Eusus and you think you've seen the nobility's golden boy. Then you meet Rufus. I'm actually kind of impressed. I'm almost loath to admit it, but over time I have gotten the impression that he's a good man. For a noble, anyway. He's a sharp guy. I can see why he has as much sway in the noble faction as he does. It looks like the sun's about to set. Why don't we call it a day here? My mother might know more about what's going on with the provincial army and the RMP. Yeah, I can get behind that. Nothing happens in Roar without Marquis Rogner to say so. We need to figure out what he's up to. I'm also rather curious as to what brought the railway military police out here. Or the army who seems to be driving tanks into cities to win arguments now. Yeah, there's got to be something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. That's going to make for some interesting dinner conversation, huh? We'll find out soon enough anyway. Come on, I'll show you to my home. So I guess you've already been there. It's just part of the Ranford building. Huh? Wait a minute. So you live... In the penthouse suite on the floors 24 and 25. That's my family's house, more or less. <laughs> I 
I don't know how that's such a shock. She lives the way she works. Man, I can't believe your family has the top two floors of a world-class high-rise all to itself. Yeah, even high-ranking nobles would trip over themselves to secure a luxury suite like this. I was afraid you guys would react exactly like you did, just did. That's why I just kept my mouth shut. Sure, it's large, but it's so pointlessly large for just two people, and the only servant we have is Sharon. If you have Sharon, that's the only maid you need, even for a place this big. <laughs> you said it. Well, we'll be guests here for the next three days, so thanks for having us, Elisa. Uh, of course, don't mention it. My, my, my. Is it just me, or do I detect more than a hint of red on Lady Elisa's fair visage? Could she be en embarrassed? I am not. <laughs> We're here on a field study, so could we at least try to take this a little more seriously? No, uh, lighten up, Machius. It just wouldn't be a proper field study without one of us getting embarrassed about our family. That's kind of true. They've all kind of been like super embarrassed and like whatnot about each of their own families. So you can <laughs> Welcome home, everyone. It feels nice to be back. I'll just ignore how you popped up to greet us at the moment we walked through the door. <laughs> I just couldn't wait to see you. Now if you'll just follow me, I'll show you inside. This is even more grandiose than I expected. You can see the old town out, out there below. Talk about the lap of luxury. 